Greetings learners, Miss Russ here to teach you how to make your very own pouch. Leave your very own pouch to put all your secrets in. Okay, let me tilt you down and show you how to get started. Okay, so you are going to need a six by six square of paper that is already cut for you. You are going to need one of these guys that has little slits already cut for you. You are going to need two pieces of paper that are three by three. You are going to need a pencil, a pair of scissors, and at the very end, you're going to need tape from your teacher. Okay, you are first going to start with your six by six piece of paper and being very careful, you're going to go corner to corner, super careful, go slow, corner to corner, hold it down, and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay? So corner to corner, hold and squeeze. Once you've done that, do you see how you have an open side? It's like the mouth. The mouth side is going to touch... Like if you think of this like a mouth too, like this is the top of the mouth and these are the teeth. So we're going to have the teeth go, go towards the fold and the top of the mouth touch the top of the mouth. Okay, so the long side here touches the long side here. And then what you're going to do is, this is kind of tricky, you're going to hold this down with one hand and then you are going to draw in these spaces. Start at the top, draw it down. Start at the top, draw it down. Okay, once you've drawn at the top, you're gonna remove this, and then you are gonna cut along those lines, and you're gonna be really careful. You're gonna be tempted to keep cutting, but don't. When the line stops, you stop. When the line stops, you, that's right, stop. When the line stops, you stop. Okay, once you have cut along these lines, you are gonna open it up. And if you've done it right, yours should be like mine. These all hold together. If you did it wrong, then you're gonna wanna see your teacher. Okay, this gets set to the side. And now you're going to get this paper that is three by six. And with your scissors, you are going to cut it one time, two times, three times. So you kind of have to think through. It's about like a thumb thickness, okay? And then you're going to do that to the other paper. So you might want to watch if you think that was too much. One time, two times three times. Okay, once you are done, you're ready to start weaving. You're going to take this paper and you're going to turn it over. So those lines you drew are at the bottom. You're going to take one of your strips. Now, I, if it's like this, the blue is over the green. And if it's like this, then the blue is under the green. Okay, so we are going to start by taking our strip and we're going to go over top. But then see this slit right here? We're going to get our hands in there. We're going to wiggle. We're going to open that slit and we're going to let our paper go under. Then see the next slit? We're going to get our fingers in there. We're going to wiggle, hold it up, and let it come back out. So it goes over, under, over, under. Now you might want to do this with me. Over. Okay, so if you haven't done this much, you might want to pause the video and catch up to right here because the next bit is tricky. Okay, now you're going to scooch, 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 scooch it all the way down. Okay, then you're going to get your next strip. Now, last time I went over. It went like this. These two now match. I don't want them to match. No, 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 no. I want them to be opposite. So I don't want this. I don't want A. I want B. Oh, so not A, 
I want to go underneath. So this time I'm lifting this one. I go underneath and through. So now I go over because this is under. So here it's over. Now I have to lift this one. Now it's tricky. I might have to go from the bottom. I might have to wiggle my fingers in there. But I got to lift this one. Then I've got to work together. got to work together. I got to lift this one. So they went opposite the whole way. Okay. And then I scooch, scooch, scooch. Okay. Now we're going to do it again. Going to get a new strip. We're going to weave it on. This time I'm going over. So if you haven't done this much with Miss Russ, you might want to pause it and catch up. So I weave across. I use my hands have to work together. There, and then I scooch, scooch, scooch. Okay, then I get my next one. So here, I'm going to go under, over, under, over, scooch, 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 all the way there. Okay, now we're going to do another one. This was under, so this time I have to go what? Over. Scooch, scooch, scooch. I have to work together, work together all the way. Oh, Miss Russ, this is tricky. Okay, now the last one sometimes doesn't always fit. So you might find that you have to take one of these strips and cut it thinner. You might even have to do one of these thinner. Now, you might also have to do the stab technique. So rather than trying to lift this up with my fingers, I'm going to go through the bottom and I'm going to stab it through. Then I'm going to go to the other side, now pull, and I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to stab it through. Then I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to stab it through. Then the other side, pull a little bit, stab it through. Other side, stab it through. Oh, that was hard, Miss Russ. Okay, now for the fun part. You're going to take it and you're going to refold it. Look at that. You're going to refold it. You might need teacher help sometimes. It's got to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Look, we're almost there. Okay, now from the teacher, you're going to need a chunk of tape. And you're going to tape up your pouch. Right like that. And like this. And then from the teacher, you're going to get a chunk of tape. You're going to go to this side and you're going to tape up your pouch. Just like that. Now, look. I have a pouch to put all my secrets in. And if I want, I can make a little, a little bit that closes it up. I can go right here and I can make that go in the inside. And then I can go around to this side and I can cut it. And now, like, I have a little lock for my pouch to put my secrets in. See? Now it's all locked up. With that, happy art making and creating a pouch using weaving. Bye!